Ferguson, and on this edition of Meet the Wolf Back, I am joined by Shalina Breakrights from the competitive cheerleading team. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you are in your second year at TRU, yeah. so what program are you in? I'm in the Police and Justice program. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about that program? Yeah, so it's a two-year diploma program, okay. and um, I'm on my second year right now, and we do Right now we've got a bunch of like philosophy and psychology classes. Um, tonight I have a, it's like a three hour class and we learn handcuffing, we do boxing, we learn how to tackle people like, and take them down. Um, we do pressure points and last week we got pepper sprayed. How was that? It was awful. <laughs> Can you describe that feeling? I feel like that would just be the worst. So it's like a full on face burn. <laughs> Like, if you've ever had an allergic reaction to any sort of thing and, like, your skin feels like it's burning, yeah. it's like that, but it's your whole face, and um, it's like getting shampoo in your eyes, but not being able to get it out. Oh, my gosh. Burning sensation. So, do your instructors or fellow students spray you? Like, who's doing the spray? So, my two instructors I have, they're both, uh, one's a current police officer, one was a former police officer. And uh, so they're both the ones that are doing it with us. And they have a pillow, it's like a dummy pillow. And they spray the pillow and then shove your face in it. Okay, that kind of makes it easier though, because I feel like if they were just coming up to you and spraying, you would like, you would know what's gonna happen. So yeah. you would back well, away. Well like, yeah, what we, had to, what we had to do is we had to, we had a radio. We have our own little duty belts that we get to wear and we had a radio. We ran outside, we had to do push-ups and then do burpees. And then he hit you in the face with the pillow. And then you run back in and you um, have to do like knee, so, like if someone's holding a body bag, you have to knee the bag, you have to punch the bag, and then you have to do that 10 times each, and then you have a baton, and you hit the thing with the baton 10 times, and then you call on the radio for backup. And you have to use like 10 codes. And then you can go wash it off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So how is running while being pepper sprayed? Because I feel like when you're running, especially like outside, the like cold air would make it worse. It makes almost. it better. Did like it? afterwards, like going outside was the best part because like, the wind was blowing in my face. It was a lot, and then I was like pumped on adrenaline too. Because I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get this done. So like it wasn't until afterwards that I was like, my face hurts right now. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, yeah. so and then you do boxing outside of yeah. school now, and so can you tell me a bit about that and how long have you been doing boxing? Uh, I started last year. Um, my dad knows somebody through his work that let me box with him. He used to be a world champion kickboxer, so I get to train with him. He's got his own little That's gym in his cool. basement. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's like it's helped me so much with classes that I have now too, like because we have to fight in class too. So it's like really helped me like prepare myself for what I've got going on in my future. So. Holy. How do you yeah. balance cheerleading with this program for police and justice? Because cheerleading is pretty like strict. You have a lot of things going on all the time. Yeah. So how are you balancing like all the cheer stuff with all the school stuff? I got really lucky this semester. I don't have any classes on Mondays or Fridays this semester. So that's like kind of my break day, which is nice. And it worked out really well with my schedule because none of my classes start before 10 o'clock in the morning at all so it works out that I, I have classes and like in between my classes I've got practices because they're usually in the mornings yeah. so like morning practices and I've got like an hour in between then I go to class and I have class all day and then on like some nights we've got like tumbling practices we have yeah. and I'll go to the one of those or I have a cl night class so like just a toss up but I think I fit work in there too so yeah but. how did you find out about the cheerleading team and decide to do it because you're in your last year of your diploma yeah, um, when I was in high school, the TRU cheerleaders, they came to Westside and they did uh, the Friday Night Lights game. Yeah. That's what they did for us, so that was super cool and I was like, oh, like that looks like a lot of fun. And then in my first year, I really wanted to do it, but I was like too chicken. I was like, no, 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 like you've done boxing and like soccer, like you're not a cheerleader, like you don't dance, like, so I didn't do it. And then uh, this year, I was like, you know what, like it's your last year, might as well just try for it, see what happens. I made my friend try out with me, so I was like, you have to come with me, I don't want to do it alone. So is your friend on the team? Yeah, she made the spirit squad. So, nice, yeah. very cool. So who's your friend on the spirit squad? Amanda. Yeah, she made the spirit team. So. Awesome. So with the competitive team, what position are you? And can you explain it a little bit to us? Yeah, so I'm the third. So um, I'm 
part of the base group. I hold the girl, our flyer and the help hold her in the air and help throw her up and do stunts and keep her legs together so she doesn't fall. And if she does fall, it's my main job to catch her, <laughs> make sure yeah. she doesn't hit the ground. So, so a lot of teamwork. Yeah, absolutely. Which is awesome and probably kind of helps you a little bit too in your program because oh, I'm my... assuming it's teamwork a lot too. Oh yeah, and like my bases are great. Like they help so much because it's my first year and my bases are both like they've done it before too. Okay. So they both help me out a lot when I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like just do this. It's okay. I'm like, oh, thanks guys. <laughs> Who's your bases? I've got Rachel Waters mm -hmm. and uh, Kenzie. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, blonde base group on the bottom. Yeah. Who's the flyer? Jordan. Jordan. Okay. Yeah, she... she's dark, dark brown hair, but oh. okay. <laughs> yeah, our brand has dark brown hair too, so it's all oh, okay. three blondes. Balanced. Two, yeah, it's balanced. Balanced out. <laughs> okay. Dad has two daughters, but you're in police and justice. Yeah. So, he gets he a little be... bit of both. Yeah. Then. He must be pretty proud because he's a sheriff. Yeah. So you're following in his footsteps. Yeah. So how did you like know you wanted to go into police work? Always wanted to. Like since I was little, I've always wanted to do it because my dad does it, and he's always had like his friends around the house, and they've all done it. So it's like always been people I've looked up to in my life. So it's really like always something I just wanted to do. Like it's so interesting to me. So. Very cool. Now I want to ask you if you could give one piece of advice to someone considering joining a Wolfpack team that might be not in their first year or coming into university, so maybe like an older student, what would that advice be? Um, just like, even if like you're not sure if you want to do it or if you're like, oh, like it's not my first year or like I didn't do it last year, like try out and go because like, I wasn't sure I was going to make it and I did. I'm so happy. Like I've made so many new friends because of being on the team, so I would just like encourage them like just go for it do it awesome yeah perfect well i know you're very busy so we'll let you go <laughs> thank you so much for joining us thank you this has been meet the wolf pack